we're going to be going over the basics of Acorn's layer filter interface. There are various ways to bring up the layer filter window. One option is to go to the filter menu item and choose a filter from the list. An additional option is to click on the FX button at the bottom of the layers list. From here, the layer filter window will open and you can choose the filter. Let's choose gradient, radial gradient and click OK. You can see that the radial gradient options are loaded in the window. You can modify things such as the radius, color, and the center position. Let's start by expanding the radius. To change the color of the gradient, we can click on the color well, and the colors palette will appear. Let's change this color to transparent. Another way to modify the radius diameter is to use the on canvas controls, which can be turned on and off by using this button at the bottom of the filters window. And by clicking and dragging on the on canvas controls, you can get the radius where you want it. To add an additional filter to the list, click on the plus button at the bottom of the window and choose your filter. We'll go to color adjustment, color controls, and let's decrease the saturation a little bit. If you'd like to see what your image looks like with and without a filter present, you can toggle the visibility icon. If you want to reset the filter to its original values, click on the reset filter button. And if you'd like to delete a filter, click on the trash can. And we'll use command Z to undo that last step. To change the position of a filter in the filters list, just click and drag on that filter and place it where you want it. Certain filters interact with other filters differently, depending on where they are in the list so this can be a way to achieve different effects. In the bottom right-hand corner of the layer filter window is a button that says flatten. Flattening your filters commits them to your layer such that you can no longer modify their values without undoing subsequent work. There are different instances where flattening your filters makes sense. Let's do an example where we choose layer, rotate and transform, perspective transform. You can see when we drag in a corner of the layer, the layer itself is transformed, but the filters are not. We're going to hit Command Z to undo. And now we're going to go back and click the flatten button and we'll perform a perspective transform again. You can see that the filters undergo the transformation with the layer. And we'll hit Command Z to undo. We're going to delete our current filters and add a curves filter. With some filters, it's convenient to duplicate the filter to give increased control over editing. To duplicate a filter, hold down the option key while clicking and dragging on it to place it where you'd like it in the list. By having two curves filters, now we can adjust different curves in our image and easily hide the visibility or reset each filter separately. To make your filter combination into a preset, you can click on the action menu item down in the lower left hand corner of the window and click save filter preset. Then enter the name you want. We'll call this tutorial example and hit return. Now, when you go to the preset option under the action menu, you can see that your preset is now in the list. To close the filter window, hit the X in the upper left-hand corner of the window. To bring back the filters window, double-click the FX on that layer in the layers list. So we just covered the basics of Acorn's layer filter interface. Acorn contains over 100 different filters, so be sure to spend some time exploring this powerful feature of Acorn.